Hi, this is BB. Um, so every time I turn this on, I don't even like to look at my face in the mirror. My face looks. This is not. I don't know. Maybe this will be with the rest of my life. It doesn't really matter. I can't fight it. It is what it is. Um, I wasn't very pretty, but I I do miss my face unblemished so when it comes to to me um, it's uh, like I said my theory is that the people with the money private sector if it's adrenochrome some people are going after if it's using various um, invasive and non-invasive procedures to get you all like a rope like almost like a like a see-through for certain people um, because there's lots of procedures out there now that are supposedly non-invasive some of them are invasive I mean, if you've got people coming in your home and spraying stuff to knock you out, there's this thing called, I used it, I well, I didn't use it, it was administered, I had a surgery under my breast in 2017, that was like about a month or two months after the Mexican woman moved in next door. It was a lot of phlegm, it took an abscess, I had to go to the hospital, they had to uh, operate immediately because it was so deep and it was close to my heart. It started out just as a little itchy spot and it turned into an abscess, a really bad one. And they gave me this thing called Versed and it just like knock you out. It just knocked me out. And it's a it's a it's a gas. So it, that would knock you out completely. If they have a doctor on, on their payroll, they can get stuff done. They can get stuff. It'll be shabby because just because you're a medical doctor or a physician doesn't mean you're an optometrist. Doesn't mean you're an ENT. Doesn't mean you're a surgeon. You're not, you didn't go to school to perform surgery. Because a surgeon in most cases that's all they do they don't diagnose all they do is tell me which limb to cut off tell me what to, to open up and, and, and take out to put in whatever you want that's all they do they cut diagnosis everything all that that's on the medical doctor your primary care physician they cut so with, with these people, if they have someone on the payroll, I don't know. Also, with payroll, they have teenage pregnancies because, like I've said this before, if they have, if they're selling experiences where they're adorning certain people, maybe, I don't know what it is, but have various things over your body. And, like I've asked, this question, I've raised this question before. They say neural linking. Now, what the heck is neural linking? What does it mean to be neurally linked? What does it mean? Neurally linked to what and how and why? To a microchip in a, a computer processor in real time, which means I. If I'm connected to the computer, somebody else can be connected to the same program, and it's the three of us. Me and the computer and the person and the computer and me. Therefore, you could have 20 of us. It's like the internet. You could have more than a billion people on there at once or more. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, it is what it is. So what does it mean to be neurally linked? 
Because I'll tell you, I don't know what these people have done. I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to give me something called empty nose syndrome. And there was something I saw in a movie yesterday or in the news yesterday. I didn't know this existed. It's like they, um, they break, they damage your thorax. And your body starts filling up with gas. It happened to a dog. If it happened to a dog, it probably can happen to a, a human as well. That gas, air, I should say. Your body starts filling up with air. And if your body starts filling up with air, with you breathing in, think about what I'm saying. I always tell you guys I'm smelling gas. What do you think my body is being filled with on a daily basis? If they are damaging my thorax, I always said they're trying to fuck some, something to fuck with my voice. Now, I don't know who came up with this, or this is just a byproduct of doing so many fucking things to me over the last four years. Pulling everything out of their, out of their asses and their hats. And yet, by the grace of God, I'm still alive, which pisses them off no end. So... It's like your body is filled with air. But if you have a lot of different gases mixed in that air, and you're inhaling it into, you, into your body, you're going to swell up. Your body's going to retain it. So with that being said, I think that might be one of the issues that I'm going through. I also feel that they're outsourcing these things. These people who would sit down and cuss you out and call you names. And I also believe that it affects us. This neural linking depends on who we're... Like with me, I'm not a lawyer. I am average intelligence, you know. I'm not shabby, but I'm not uh, learned in any particular field that is, you know, above my pay grade. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a scientist, I'm not, you know, something that puts you on a map, you know what I mean. So if they link my head to one of those people's heads, I could very well slow those people down. Think of what these people are doing to me. You notice sometimes I'm like my, I look like I sound like I'm drunk <coughs> or am I? Think about what you, you ever notice like sometimes you're having a hard time like something is off it's all you're there but it's like all this you're not thinking anything but it, like something is happening in your head. And it's, it's not crazy, but it's like you feel your head is filled, but it's all junk. Maybe there's a lot of this neural linking happening too many, and it's, it's cross-contamination. You have alcoholics, you've got drug addicts, you've got uh, people who are not too smart. Yes, they exist. People who are bullies, people who are... Rapists, thieves, murderers, ped I mean, they're all kinds. And it's, it's like a cross-contamination. I don't know the reason why they would do this. Why are they threatened by people like me? I don't know. Like I said, though, I'm not shabby. Unless they were using me to dumb somebody else down. I don't know. That could very well be a possibility. The point is, that's not fair to that person. If they're using me to do that or somebody else to mess with me, it's not fair to me. It's not fair to the other person. They might be using somebody else to mess with someone else. And another person, another person, another person. Is why are they doing this? Are they so stupid that they have to do this?
Are they envious of those people? What is it? And it might not be something of, of acad uh, you know, like, like academia. It might be um, anything. It could be uh, philosophy. It could be creativity. It could be just logic. It could be just clarity. It could be manifestation. It could be spirituality. It could be an, an empathy. It could be um, something. It's just a way, you know, you have creative ideas. And you just toss them. You don't act on them. We do that all day long, believe it or not. And they're just cashing in. Making it theirs. Getting at you from the inside out. So the question is again, what the hell is this neural linking? What is it? What is it? How does it work? And how is it affecting us? How is it affecting us? And can two people be neurally linked? And what would be the pros and the cons? Upsides and downsides of that. Anybody, let's focus on that for now if you can.